Tonight, Mauna Loa continues to put on a spectacular show, erupting now for nearly 48 hours. The latest from the Hawaiian Volcanoes Observatory, the longest and largest lava flow coming from Fisher 3 in the Northeast Rift Zone. Late this afternoon, the lava was several miles from Saddle Road. It already crossed Mauna Loa Weather Observatory Road last night. The situation is fluid, but for now, officials say no homes or communities are being threatened. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. The eruption is drawing crowds trying to catch a glimpse of the fiery spectacle. KITV4's Ali Ducolo now joins us live from Mauna Kea Access Road on the Big Island with the very latest. Ah. Uh -uh. Yeah, good evening, Rick. Just take a look behind me. It's definitely captivating as we've been showing you all night. Lava fountaining out of the top of Mauna Loa, then creeping down its slopes towards the Daniel K. Inouye Highway. And of course, as we've been reporting, many cars trying to park on the shoulders of that roadway. Transportation officials, of course, urging drivers not to do so because it is a safety hazard. And again, you know, speaking with many of the people here, those onlookers, some say they flew in specifically just to catch the eruption. This is really amazing. I never thought in my wildest dream that I would be standing here in front of one of the, well, the biggest volcano in the world, active volcano in the world. And it's just amazing. It's one in a, life, one in a lifetime experience, yeah. Again, officials with the Department of Transportation are urging the public not to park along the highway and they will be enforcing the no parking zones between mile markers 16 and 31. That's because this is a high speed route with some sections posted at 60 miles per hour and the uh, road wasn't meant to accommodate a high volume of cars on its shoulders or pedestrians walking in the roadway. DOT also reminding drivers shoulders are a safety feature for cars in trouble, not sightseeing. Though onlookers are encouraged to, uh, to park in designated parking lots for a safer option. And of course, we'll be continuing to bring you the very latest here from Hawaii Island. But for now, reporting live, Ali Iduklo, KITV4 Island News.